smooth fade out. Hello. Hi. The doors are locked. The doors, as you say, are locked. How well done? There's a gear, there's a jib, there's a strawberry, there's a bear, there's an oops. There's, I've forgotten who I've said already. <laughs> Memory, who needs it? Jib's a criminal and no, we don't want to know anymore. But, I haven't told you about his birthmark. Um, how, how are we all doing? Are we all doing good? F fact already, blimey. <laughs> Don't you chuckle at me. Uh, did we not already have this one? We shouldn't have, because I keep track of which ones we have. Uh, the first public parks in the US were cemeteries. Thank you. Makes sense, you want to keep those public, right? Um, speaking of death and ghosts, welcome to Ghost Trick. <laughs> Curse swoosh. There it is. In visually. Audibly it's here. You lurk awaiting knowledge. Spooky knowledge. Looking forward to this. So am I. Um, I was saying during the um, during the morning stream that I have I have hypotheses about these and I'm writing them down on a little little uh, web diary uh, that I'm not going to show anyone until we finish the game so that we can look back and see how I what I was thinking at each stage and how wrong I was um, but I have hypotheses as to where this where one of the questions in this game is going the other 70 questions I haven't got a clue um, <laughs> but we'll see we'll see looking forward we've got extras apparently um, the theory is missile is God and is the bringer of the end times honestly would not put this put it past this game <clears throat> Believe in me, yeah. So I'm, I'm, all, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skirt around my theory and not like mention it at all. However, I will, I, I do have to adjust the way I refer to characters, um, subtly. Um, but I'm gonna be trying not to bring attention to, <laughs> apart from the fact that I just mentioned it. Um, but how does the missile know where it is? It knows where it is because this is a good boy. That's how. Arf, arf, indeed. We didn't see Missile last time, which is a travesty, frankly. Um, <clears throat> Joe Birdie's special pants to the rest of the RPG group, but Chris hasn't even shown them regular Cuthbert. He felt like he just traumatised people. Ah, you go ahead. <laughs> I'm not stopping you. Um, definitely has some theories when you play this game, too. I, I'm kind of looking forward to being wrong, because I like being wrong about things, and then being surprised as to what the answer is. I'm like, oh, no, that makes sense. You know? <clears throat> but as I say, even if I'm right, there's like 50 other things I have no idea where they're going, so... <laughs> I would say what they were, though, or if they're right. Make them guess who it is. <laughs> it's actually good spot. Uh, but anyway, yes. <clears throat> so last time, what happened? Like, quite a lot of stuff happened last time. Um, uh, Lynn was accused of killing us and ran away. Well, tried to run away. Um, we, she died twice in the process, and we saved her twice. Um, she, one of the deaths was like a happy birthday Rube Goldberg machine, <laughs> um, which was a bit weird. Uh, and, and was in a room, a locked room, with the, a guy with a pigeon on his head had. Uh, there's still no explanation for that. Um, then what happened? Uh, then... Did we go to the prison then? Oh yeah, yeah, we, talk, we talked to Lynn, because she was dead for a bit. Um, and so she now knows that we're a ghost and we're doing stuff. Uh, he's just a guy with a pigeon on his head, that's normal. In this world, probably. <clears throat> uh, but she told us that there's somebody in prison who needs... Uh, and, and she wants to know what's on their um, work board for, for the next day. Uh, the following day. <clears throat> so we went to prison to work that out. We discovered that we can't read. Um, but that didn't matter because there was nothing on the board. 
Um, and also the person was painting in prison and they were happened to be painting our face. Um, so... Yeah, there was also a guy with a sausage head who was in there. His head was hooked up to a machine. I don't know why. Um, there was also the rock star who blurted out public secrets on... Uh, uh, not public secrets, uh, government secrets on stage. Um, a lot of people doing things out of character. <clears throat> Given that our whole, you know, shtick here is the ability to possess things, I'm imagining there's some sort of possession going on. Um, we can't possess people at the moment, but... Uh, Maybe someone's worked that out. Smiley face. <laughs> we'll see. Um, anyway, and I think the last thing that happened is we um, are going to... Are we going to the chicken kitchen? We're going to the chicken kitchen because that was where um, Lynn and Missile and the girl that Missile's with... <laughs> That's where they agreed to meet or something, which I think is also the center of an operation that the police are doing this tonight. <clears throat> Chemkin, exactly. That I press continue by accident, but that's what we're doing. Yeah, so we're in the chicken kitchen. Um, there were blue people here and a giant chicken suspended from the ceiling. <laughs> that's all I really remember. Uh, you Amber will continue to um, smile just to mess with you. It doesn't always mean anything. <laughs> that's good, good, good. I like that. Pet missile, since we will at the first op possible opportunity. Um, let's go. I'm sure I've forgotten many things, but. 10.05 p.m. Oh, we will disappear. We're, we're dead and we will disappear at daybreak. I'm just gonna get the images I saw at the police headquarters out of my head. That guy with the floppy sausage head it's, it's not going away. The person who shot me tonight is the last person in the world I want to believe did it. Oh yeah, we also saw um, the surveillance footage of um, Lynn actually shooting. Um, and also us, uh, the, also the, the dead body being perturbed by a cat getting out of a bag. Um, as well as some other bits and bobs. <laughs> Do you wanna see my pot of greed? It's shiny. <laughs> now I'm here at the place she and I agreed to meet, the restaurant the police were staking out as Point X. But when I got there, I found the place in ruins. Oh yeah, something happened here, we missed that. We were in prison at the time. Oh yeah, and uh, obviously, um, uh, Bailey and Shrimp. Ah, the chicken fell. What a surprise. Um, we met Bailey and Shrimp, who are very, very important. Whoa, what in the world happened here? Whoa, that's <laughs> the most unsurprised whoa I've ever done. Uh, chicken fell, obviously. Trick time. H. What? Oh, uh, I. What did I do for him? Sort of Brooklyn sort of thing? I can't do New York. Oh, the heavens! No. <laughs> oh, the heavens! What do I do? If I'd known something like this was going to happen, now it's gone to all Texas. <laughs> I would have paid the poor child more. I've got a baguette for her nose. I would have cooked her more chicken for her. I would have sunk to her as much as she liked until she had her fill. Was it Cockney last week? Cool, that'll do. Actually, you better sing in. She did tell me she'd had a, f a fill a time or two. Chef seems to be in quite a panic. Hat! Anyway, at least it doesn't look like the waitress is dead. Hat! I am hat now. This is important. What is up with your nose? It should not be vibrating like this. What are you hiding under the hat exactly? Uh, what is actually happening here? Um, the blue people aren't there anymore. Yep, this broke, unsurprisingly. Uh, and Squimch. And whoever- oh, oh, it's the police guy, the stakeout guy. He crashed. Huh. What are you hiding under that hat? What's this? According to that police radio conversation I heard, Lynn should be here. But I don't see her anywhere. Have you checked under the chicken? Seems like bad luck is it, it, uh, has it in for that redhead. She's died twice. <laughs> I'm expecting at least, no, hang on. Did she die twice, three times? Three times, sorry, yeah, cause she died at the beginning as well. <clears throat> uh, thank you, miss. <laughs> um, I think it's like a wizard hat in Discworld, hiding booze under there or something. Yeah, I'm, I'm ex Ratatouille is also a possibility. So I was half expecting to see her in trouble again. I spotted the corpse of the van driver. This, was, this guy was being harassed. Oh, and the corpse. Oh, there she is. <laughs> what a surprise. Look at me. I'm dead. What took you so long? Hmm? 
There's the face. I, have, I now have a cutout of that face that I'm going to put in every thumbnail for this series. <laughs> the font. Well, that's one way to greet a guy. What happened here? Hey, how should I know? I'm the victim. Hmm, is it just my imagination or is she getting more and more brazen every time she dies? Oh, that's because I'm a detective. Have to be tough, you know. Well, and how did it go? Did you check out tomorrow's work schedule for Prisoner D99? Yeah, just like I promised. Actually, I have a few things I want to ask you about, too. Sure, we agreed to use each other after all, right? Yes, we did agree to that, and I don't like the phrasing. Okay, let's swap info, then. Read that as the egg. Okay, prisoner the egg. Yeah, I don't think that's because you're a detective. My murderer. Well, that's you, so let's, let's do that. On my way here, I stopped by the chief of police's office. Oh, it was just on your way, was it? And while I was there, I saw who did it. I saw my murderer. You saw him? Where? How? Not him. Her. There was a security camera set up there at the junkyard where I got shot. The security tape showed the person who shot me. It was you. Yep, that happened. Chiefs of Police's offices. No way! You're kidding, right? What do you have to say for yourself, Detective? It wasn't me! I didn't shoot you! If I recall, this is what you said about who- This is what you said about who shot me. My memory just isn't clear on that part. So how can you say for sure that it wasn't you? Ha <laughs> ha! Caught in a lie or contradiction or something. We should play contradiction. No, Jeeves should play contradiction. Um, but because I told you before, you were supposed to give me some information. Information, huh? But I'm a free man. Maybe that information was the reason you shot me. Thought we knew this already. Yeah, yeah, but we have video surveillance evidence of it, and now we're explaining it to her. What? What do you mean? Why she shot me? You said you had information on the case I'm looking into, so I would hardly shoot you before I heard that information, right? I agree. That wouldn't make sense if it was before, huh? But what if it was after you'd already gotten the information from me? I definitely told you something then. <gasps> no. Did you about to mention contradiction before you mentioned it? Have you tried Simon's homebrew? Whatever it was, it really shocked you. Why did I tell you? <gasps> I don't remember. I don't know. You've gotta believe me. After you saved me, I thought you I got all my memories back. But maybe I really didn't. You told me something! I can't remember that part at all. You got the information you wanted from me, and then you shot me. Isn't that what happened? No, I didn't shoot you! Please, tell me. What did you tell me that time? What did I learn from you? Hmm. I don't know. I have minimization. The eggs work schedule. Just like you said, each prisoner had a little blackboard in his cell. But the thing is, there wasn't anything written on Prisoner D. Degg's blackboard. It was blank. <laughs> he told her, shoot me. I mean, if I, my hypothesis is, is working, it's not a terrible thing to say. Um, also, I can't read. <laughs> yeah, we're going to gloss over that. <laughs> what? I guess maybe it means his schedule for tomorrow hasn't been decided yet. But blank? Blank? No! Huh? Didn't think she'd lose it over a blank blackboard. How come you were so upset about an undecided work schedule? I get the feeling that back when I was alive, I'd never had much of a schedule to worry about myself. Now I'm smiling. <laughs> Do you know what it means when a prisoner doesn't have a schedule for the next day? Huh? It, it means something? It doesn't mean he doesn't have work to do. It's more like he can't work. And that's because he's gonna be executed. Executed? Metal Gear? Execution. Do you know what Prisoner D. D Egg's crime was? Uh, shot his wife? I think so. They said something about him murdering his wife right in front of a family member. I didn't, I didn't say shot, they said murder, that's fair. 
That's what they say, but it's not true. That escalated quick. <laughs> he would never... Detective Jowd would never do anything like that. And the death penalty hasn't been enforced in this country for a very long time. Not for decades. Jowd. The egg. We'll stick with the egg. Even if the prisoner wants it, like in this case. What? Well, <laughs> this is going some places. The prisoner wants it? There's definitely something else going on with this case. I just know it. And I have to find out what. And if his work schedule is blank for tomorrow, I have to do it right now. You're dead, though. So this prisoner de egg, Detective Jowd, must be, he must be connected to me in some way, too. Because it was painting me. <laughs> After all, he obviously knows me. Point X. Did we do the murder? What, did we shoot ourselves? <laughs> Smiley face. <laughs> Are we the drama? Detective Strong Calves. Good old Bailey. Let's go. The police were staking this restaurant out tonight. They called it Point X. Point X, huh? That's a good name for this place. I think the chicken kitchen is better. That white suited inspector was surprised to find out you were, you just casually waltzed in here. Inspector Cabaniella? What in the world made you pick this place anyway? I, I guess I have to say because of you? Me? Huh? That would have been a great time to use the face. I have to share a post about Jowd after a certain point in this game, you'll try to remember. There's many things to share. I'm desperate to look up all of the art and music and background of this game. I'm very enthusiastic, but I have to wait till I finish it. <clears throat> no, there's the body. And also Ray, I still have no idea what's going on with Ray. Do you remember... Do you remember that note I found? Yeah, I remember. That note I didn't get a chance to read. I completely forgot about the note, I'll be perfectly honest. <laughs> it had a place and a time written on it. The Chicken Kitchen, 10 o'clock. In other words, I was supposed to meet somebody here tonight. Yeah, apparently so. I just had to get that information you were going to give me. That's why I came here. It was the only lead, the only lad I had left. And this here is point X, so that must mean the mark the police were waiting for was me. Hmm. So what are we going to do now? What are you going to do now? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and come back to life. I mean, you fulfilled your goal, right? You found out who shot you. Hmm. Are you going to get revenge? That would be easy enough to do. All you have to do is not save me. Hmm. No, I'm going to save you because game. Is this the ending I was hoping for? Have I unraveled all of the mysteries of me? Probably not. What am I going to do now? I'm going to save you, that's what. You are? I want to know everything. Who I was, why I was killed who these blue people are. <laughs> and I'd like to know who those guys are, too. <laughs> Their whole deal, I still have no idea. Yeah, still can't read, so definitely not. <laughs> I want answers, and I'm gonna find them. But to do that, I'm gonna need your help. Can you stay dead for a bit? Okay. I won't say thank you, not yet. And I won't say I'm sorry, either. You shot me, come on. <laughs> but I'll help, I'll help, I'll help see to it that you get your answers. Good. Now, I think it's time to get back to the past. I can't leave you lying flat and under that huge chunk of chicken forever, after all. <laughs> this game has good lines. <sighs> Rewind time! If I could turn back time. Drink. So much dialogue. Four minutes before death. <clears throat> Don't sit under the giant chicken. This is a very good game. I'm, I'm enjoying it immensely. The note said Chicken Kitchen, 10 o'clock. I wonder who that pointy-haired man was going to meet here. Huh. What's this? Oh, look at him go. Yeah, screw the third dimension. Oh, uh, more characters. Here you go! 
Okay, they didn't speak. We're good. <laughs> Where's my chicken? <laughs> Maybe I can have some of that. Can I eat that? <laughs> Stop thinking like me. It doesn't look good on me. Ugh. Swing, and then smash. <gasps> oh, she she saved the, the waitress's life. Oh. And then he's there. And then... Oh, that's a good... That's a good swing. Do you want to look... <laughs> well, there's not a lot I can do about that here. I think I have to go and go to the stakeout place and stop the car from crashing, right? You're just going bigger and better with each new death, aren't you? Leave me alone! Can I help it if I got tired of dying the usual ways? But I'll say this, it was a death any detective could be proud of. Huh? What makes you say that? The way you saved somebody else before dying yourself. Oh, that waitress? The one with the chicken on her head? <laughs> you usually gotta add chicken to a game and it improves it immensely. The next time you put a chicken on your head, you should try one, yeah, you should try one about the size of the waitresses. I'll make a note of that for next time. Uh, but anyway. If you hadn't tried to save that waitress, you'd still be alive. I couldn't help it! You know the detective thing and all. I wasn't able to save that poor van driver, though. At that speed, he must have died instantly. How would you know that? Well, we can't... You don't know what science is. We can't let a heroic detective like you stay dead. The root of this whole disaster is clear. The only question is, how do I stop it? I think you guys are very confused about what a detective does. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think so. Okay, let's get started. Where's the driver's ghost? We could have gotten to it. Well, we could have if we could reach it, but we didn't. They don't say chicken kitchen, 10 o'clock. Wonder what that pointy head man was something here. If you're gonna call me anything, at least try to make, make it my name, Sissel. Sorry about that, I'm really bad with names. The future of this lady's career as a te detective looks pretty bleak. <laughs> she can hear that, you know. Um, uh, what are the controls? Here we are. Um, so that's your body. Menu board. Can we read the menu? Ding, ding. So we can ring the bell. Uh, what happens if I just... Oh, I can examine the note. You wrote this note, right? I, I think so, but I don't remember. 10 o'clock, that means it's already time for your meeting with whoever it is. And now that I think about it, whoever you were supposed to meet might already be here. You're the detective, shouldn't you have checked that when you got here? Oh yeah, sorry, the chicken at this restaurant's really good, so, you know. <laughs> uh, no, I don't know. Maybe we should take a look around the rest of the restaurant. The rest of the rest of the restaurant, restaurant. There's presumably blue friends. Can I hear? Hmm. Hey, we can't hear what they're saying! Don't yell at me. Apparently, we ghosts can't hear conversations that are too far away. If we want to hear what they're saying, we have to get closer. What? But I want to hear what they're saying! Yeah, those two are definitely suspicious. And they're blue. This is a recurring theme. The blue guys tend to be bad. I was supposed to meet somebody here at this restaurant tonight. Or maybe it wasn't so much meat, but more like... something else? He killed by. If all goes well with our deal tonight, we will have the power to change the world, sir. Mm, yes, it's an important night indeed, my good man. We can't afford to make mistakes. I forgot there was a thing going on with that. A deal? I wonder what it's all about. I wish I knew, but those two are definitely worth checking out. Cool, cool. Gee, thoughts. What was that sign? A tempting dessert menu, maybe. It's kind of embarrassing to have somebody watch your every move like this. No, that sign was... Come to think of it, what did that sign say? My memory's a little hazy on that part. In any case, just hanging around here isn't gonna fix anything. I'll have to look for a way to get beyond this area. Jeez. Sign holder. The sign says... Oh yeah. <laughs> of course. Who's the blue woman <laughs> twirling your hair and kicking your feet? We'll find out in a, in a bit, I guess. Pretty elite. <clears throat> it's no use. I can't read what it says. Let's see. Oh, hey! 
Now I remember what the sign says. If you would like some water, please ring the bell three times. Okay. Three times? Yeah, the waitress doesn't bring any water if you only ring the bell once. She said those are the rules, apparently. And I said, apparently? What do you mean apparently? Don't you work here? Uh, quite a stickler for the details, this detective. Apart from forgetting everything. It's fine, well. Ding, ding, ding. Bring water, please. Swish. But moves. You want more water? Huh? Oh, oh sorry, I didn't ring the bell. What's with the more water, Ben? Oh, well, come on. This is your third class. Oh, okay, I get it. This was a little dig, wasn't it? Kind of like, hey, where's my food, right? No, not at all. Besides, I didn't ring it. But I would like to see you bringing me my chicken soon. Duly noted. In the meantime, enjoy a nice glass of water. Customer service face. Are we in the Mad Max Fury Road universe? Yeah, I remember this now, she says, just as she reads it. That's how my, that's how my brain remembers things. By being reminded of. Cool, take me to the phone, please. Off we go. Moves. Trick time. To the to the thing. Okay, we're going upstairs, I guess. Right. Well, we're gonna find out who these are now. Trick time. Speak. Here you go. Let's get up. Oh, there's a trunk. Examine the trunk. This is one big trunk. Seems pretty heavy, too. It's very suspicious. And red. Hey, let's see what's in it. Mm, sorry, but that's not possible. It's locked. The gates are shut. <clears throat> Thank you. Darn, I wanted to see what's inside. They're sealed shut. And that's the way they're gonna stay. Oh, there we go. Conservation. So what do you think, my dear beauty? Do you really think we can trust this deal? Who knows? It's not our job to think about that. But those incidents did happen in this country, just as he predicted. Yeah, they were pretty amusing too, weren't they? The fellow who sang out national secrets during a live TV broadcast. And the man who laid siege to the Metro Police Department, taking the top dog hostage. Don't say top dog about somebody whose head looks like a sausage. What if it double crosses us? It won't be pretty. No, no, not like me. He needs this deal too. <laughs> yeah, without any veggies or sides or nothing, just a chicken. <clears throat> what are we, an animal? And we've accepted all his conditions as well. Yeah, and thanks to that, we have to be here on this extra little assignment. But as long as I'm paired up with you, beauty, I don't mind. How do these two... How do they know about the cases at the special prison? Special prison? The guy who sang the national secrets, the man who held siege to the Metro Police. Those cases are classified information. That's between Bailey and the uh, Shrimp. Hmm, I've heard about the, both of those cases, and recently too. We literally, it was just, it was in the previous scene. <laughs> Whatever. The perpetrators in those cases are being held at a special facility. That's what the special prison is, but it's not known about by the general public. You remember, Cecil? You went there? <laughs> So, Prisoner De Egg, Detective Jowd, is one of those special cases too, huh? Like his memory. <laughs> hmm. These two are talking about the very same cases I heard about just tonight. That couldn't be just a coincidence, could it? Updated the phone book. <gasps> look, look. Hmm. What is the beauty? Why don't we, uh... Move to a different spot. That table in the back looks good. No, 
know you're talking, beauty, my dear, just what I've been waiting for. A quiet, secluded spot, just the two of us. I wouldn't object to that. A bit Christopher Walken. All of a sudden, I get this feeling somebody is eavesdropping. My sixth sense is very strong, you know. <gasps> the, the, the person at the bar? <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> That's all right, my dear, you don't have to make excuses. Off we go, across the bridge of poultry to the land of love. More fantastic sentences. Take the, take the thing. Oh. More good walk cycles. Across the bridge of poultry, he says. They have brunged the chicken. What just happened? Did she sense we were here? What, with her sixth sense? <laughs> but, you, you know, I have some pretty amazing powers myself. Do you know? I mean, you can get into small spaces. Like, like if there's chicken nearby, I can tell right away. That's called smell? Yeah, <laughs> that's called a sense of smell. But anyway, at least the situation has changed a little bit now. Fate changed, I guess. Um, I don't believe in a sixth sense. It's not scientific. What science? <laughs> says the ghost. But come to think of it, we've been left behind, haven't we? Is she holding a whip? I did not see a whip. A riding crop. Oh! <laughs> they knew what they were doing with that character. Yeah, it looks that way. And not having legs is even more inconvenient than I thought it would be. But what are we gonna do now? They're all the way over there. We could have been the chicken. I'm telling you, we better shake a leg or we're gonna miss what they're saying. It'd be pretty hard, hard to shake a leg not having legs at all. They're still talking about something. I want to hear. Yeah, me too. Exactly what they were doing. Right. <clears throat> Glass, bell, bottle dispenser. Dispense. Oof. Oh no. That was not necessarily my intention. So I was wondering, we're not stuck over here by any chance, are we? Uh, we just might be. Okay, well, I have two thoughts. Number one, if we want to get over to where those two are, we have to use this red trunk they forgot somehow. Mm, sounds about right. What's your other thought? It doesn't look like this blue-haired bartender is going to be much help. So I guess we have to find somebody who can help then. Ding, ding, ding. I didn't got to do it once. Slide! I like your move, waitress. Sorry, moves. <clears throat> we still need to get to the phone, presumably. That's where we need to go. Trick time! Oh, hang on. Conversation first. You rang? Oh, I get it. You saw that couple over there and you started to get lonely, right? And so you decided to call me. Aw, oh, that's so sweet. Forgive me. But I didn't ring for anybody. What? Now, could you not stand in my light, please? I can't see my glass properly. I've been working here for two days, and I've been waiting this whole time for you to notice me. Now would you stop trying to shake me up and just stick to shaking cocktails? Two days. Almost died on the job in two days. Impressive. She has a surprisingly short career with this place. Is that a thing? Is that evidence? Um, yeah, I was rather hoping she could, I could hit, hitch a ride. Um, two days is like so long. And thanks for all the chicken. <clears throat> thanks for all the kip. Uh, we can't really do it. This is one big trunk. It seems pretty heavy too. It's very suspicious and red through this. It's locked. If only there was voice acting. Um, we can't do anything with the glass. Can we, like, ring her up here and then smack something? Mm. I'm nothing but a craven. <laughs> if you've only worked it two days, it's fine. Okay, we can't they're actually... sealed shut, and that's the way they're gonna stay. Smash, smash it. 
Fish. Oh my god! Oh, you just broke that glass! Just like you did my heart! A broken glass can never be put back the way it was. Just leave it there. You can't just leave it! Somebody might get hurt! Let me let me do things. <gasps> I love the spotlight, it's great. Doesn't this trunk belong to that couple over there? Yes, yes, it does. Let me get on that. And the only thing is we allow customers to lose here are their cares. Miss, please go and let them know about the trunk, if you'll be so kind. How gallant of you! I just might fall for you, you know. Updated the phone book. I, what is the phone book button? I, Odd girl. I agree. Me too. What's what's phone book no, thing? What's, no, I haven't looked at the phone book since we started the game. <laughs> anyway, get on to get on the be the be the thing. Oh, no, no, <laughs> let me be the thing. <laughs> Boo! It's in my menu. There's the menu. X. It says it in the corner. <clears throat> People, me, the mystery, red-headed target, ray of light, hunter in the dark, Jigo, eyebrowed villain. <laughs> so eyebrowed is a very good adjective. Masked muscle man, the other hit man, the little lady, Camilla, that's her name, I always forget. Missile, perfumed lady, the feverish firecracker, careworn gentleman, careworn. That's some good... Good localization in this game. The green detective, the blue detective. Granite and marble. Um, the odd blue doctor. Lanky and loose lawman. <laughs> Alright then. Uh, detective with the cap, that's the guy who just crashed. Guardian of the park, we haven't met them again. I'm sure they're gonna crop up. <laughs> Pigeonman. Uh, jovial tenor. Typical cop. <laughs> Navy blue square. Don't you, don't you call Bailey a square? How dare you? Rock jailbird. Curry loving jailbird. The head. It's, mm. uh, fated jailbird. The egg. Itchy man. Don't call. Oh, the feet. I forgot about the feet. Don't, don't remind me of the feet. Cute chicken carrier. Black, black hearted blue man. Why are black hearted? We haven't, we haven't learned anything about him yet. Not defeat! Black hearted blue woman. Uh, and the fastidious glass polisher. Lovely. Good to know. We could read more, but, you know. Is somebody gonna come over? Ah, there's another glass. Aha! We are the thing now. Well, goodbye! I've been working here for two days, and I have my eye on you the whole time. I think this might be my last night working here, though. It's been fun! I guess she's leaving this place with her surprisingly short career intact. If I walk the next tab open, that was people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think that counts as part of the phone book. Of all the things to forget, it would have been so pretty if I forgot this. Oh, it's so heavy! I'm coming, baby, over the poultry bridge. <clears throat> yeah, it's been. Here we are, finally. Yeah, I feel kind of bad about the eavesdropping, though. Not me. I mean, we just delivered the last trunk to them, after all. They owe us at least that much. What kind of detective says something like that? They changed, I guess. I don't know how any of this is affecting, you know, the car that's gonna crash, but whatever. <laughs> I guess we can get to the chicken somehow. The flower vase. Ooh, swing the light. Swing. I can't believe I forgot the trunk of all things. With such a small body. You probably only have a small brain to match. Ouch! That hurts, beauty! But that's okay, that's what I love about you. 
that's what he loves about her? That That is a riding crop, isn't it? That is a red riding crop. A little red riding crop. I don't get it either. Ah, where were we? Kinky. Kinky. Oh, right. Who to invite to the wedding? If we got married, that is, of course. Huh? We can talk about that when we're alone. Hmm. But up, we alone now, beauty. Huh? Do you think she senses our presence again? I spy a ladybug. A ladybug? I just hate little bugs. What? Why did she set fire to the chicken? <laughs> What? After all that trouble, it happened anyway? We didn't do anything to stop it. <laughs> yeah, it looks that way, yeah. It's not over yet, though. It's not? What are you talking about? You're not dead yet. D no, but I'm gonna be in just a few seconds. I'd like to save the guy with the hat as well. But before that happens, there's something we can do from here. They're, oh, they're hiding under the table. Quick, trick. The driver looks familiar. He was the police person on the stakeout in the park. Uh, swing now. Sweet chariot. Well, that's swinging as well. Oh. There we are, chicken bone now. Swing. Get to the body of the person. Hello, you. How are you doing? You alright? Uh, what was the voice of the guy? I don't, I don't remember what voice I gave Stakeout Guy. Mm, hello? Looks like he's unconscious. Excuse me, could you wake up for a second, please? Pushy as ever, this detective. One thing I've learned is that the newly dead stay unconscious for a little while at first. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So we, might not, we, not, we might be fine. <laughs> huh? I was like that, and you were like that too. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Anyway, if we restart the flow of time now, you'll die. Yeah, I know. Why don't we try going back even further in time? What? Even further? But how? By piggybacking off of this dead person. Simple, we go back four minutes before the death of this, this poor driver here. You can do that? I never tried it before, so I don't know how it'll go, but if we can erase the driver's death, that should erase your death, too. Ghost Trek Inception. Recursive time hopping. Oh, wow. I can't think of any other way. Let's try it. I, I, that has just given me a very strange idea for where this story could go. I don't, I don't think that's what's going to happen, but it's a possibility. <laughs> <clears throat> Four minutes before death. Temsic Park. I said Temsic Park. What the? That's Lynn, a rookie detective. What's she doing at Point X? Could it be just a coincidence? Don't discount any ideas yet. Possibly, yeah. Uh, death within a death. Hmm. We just got an APB on her a little while ago. Something about an extremely important case's extremely important witness running ext currently extremely on the run. Now what? Should I report this to Inspector Caminella? Mm. Is that a jet engine in your van? They told us to stay off the radio unless it was an emergency, but I think I better call this in. Just infinite time travel, you just have to find a person dying nearby, yeah. Pour it in. I wonder what she did this time. Oh no, I've just had a really bad idea. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna put that in my <laughs> terrible predictions list. Stop thinking, just enjoy the game. Inspector Cavaniala is pretty protective when it comes to Lynn. He'd wanna know. <gasps> ring, ring, ring. What's the matter? All right, fine. 
always thing. <laughs> I prefer it when it just happens. I just I prefer twists to just happen, and I don't like working things out in advance. But my brain won't shut up. <laughs> this is point X. Idiot! No, idiot! And yes, sir, I'll go get her. I don't know who the idiot that was. <laughs> That's really effort. The static is awful. Can't believe I forgot the trunk of all things. Oh no, there's. I can't believe I forgot the trunk of all things. I see. I see. There was a bug in the chicken. With such a small body, you probably only have a small brain to match. Ouch, that hurts, beauty, but that's okay. That's what I love about you. What the heck is this? I spy a ladybug. A ladybug? I just hate little bugs. Hmm. And now, I can't hear very well. <laughs> Loud noise. Bonk. That's the crash. So we didn't change anything. <laughs> All right, how do we stop that then? Wow, the van driver was a detective. Good job, Lynn. Ugh. Oh, looks like it. I noticed something though. That conversation he was listening to just before the crash. I remember hearing it before. Oh, was oh that was when we were in the superintendent's office. You're right. We just heard it a few minutes ago, didn't we? Just after that conversation, the detective suddenly passed out. Oh, I thought he, I thought he was referring to the person he was talking to on the radio, which I think was Cabin Yella. <clears throat> anyway. What happened, I wonder? We already know the answer. We just saw what happened at the restaurant. Yes, yeah, these two. Burn the bug. She burned up the ladybug. Or she burned up the ladybug. Sometimes when a high-tech bug like that is destroyed, it emits a loud signal. Loud enough to knock a person out if they were listening to it through headphones. How convenient. So that's why the detective passed out, huh? Bingo! Now let's stop it from happening! By eating the chicken ourselves. Right, we're here. Uh, uh, oh, right, that's the... Why is it here? Was it attached to the van? The soul was attached to the van, okay. Interesting. Um, we can turn on a flashing light. Uh, we can recline this seat, which hopefully maybe will give us a thing. Gee, thoughts. Give me thoughts. Hey, this place. This is the place that white-suited inspector phoned tonight. Yeah, but that's what I, that's what I was mentioning before. This is the parking lot of the, the park. The parking lot of the park. The lot of the park. Park in the, the park park on the east side of town. It's been years. It's called Temsic Park. Hmm. You know this park? Yeah, I used to play here a lot when I was little. But then, one day, I swore I'd never set foot in this park ever again. Uh, that's, okay. Temzik isn't a thing, it's a place. Probably where the, uh, her dad killed her mum. <clears throat> and that's what she wants to know about. Why did that happen? More information, etc., etc. Um, whoa, those are some really deep, dark feelings there. I wonder what happened. Hold it! Don't give me that, a ghost doesn't have a foot to set a bit, a foot to set, set a foot but to bit. It's just a figure of speech. What kind of nitpicker do you think I am? Anyway, whatever, let's get started. Okay, let's do that. I won't press her about that other thing right now. Uh, well, that didn't help, but... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get out of there, you. Doesn't look like the detective's gonna come. Might as well turn it off, it's pretty loud. Ring. Right there. Uh, well, then what do I do? Hang on. Anything in there when it's open? No. <laughs> Maybe that I might have done it in the wrong time. No. Ah! Uh, ah, here we go. Aha! Here we go. Binoculars. Actually, if I do this, does it knock the binoculars?
Uh, and then I do it again, and then it's going to fling them forwards. For reasons. Uh, what are you saying over there, sir? <clears throat> he told us to stay off the radio unless it was an emergency, but I think I'd better call this in. <clears throat> what does he mean this time? Mind your own business. I like to do things my own way, okay? Inspector Caminiano is pretty protective when it comes to land. He'd want to know. Um, well, is there anything else happening around here? I've changed the only thing. Oh, there's the phone. Ring, ring. That's the matter. Whoa, whoa. Doesn't look like the detective's gonna come. Uh, gee, thoughts. Who is the detective talking to? And don't keep yelling at me about these things. But they might be talking about something ridiculously important. That's true, but still. It might be the person who really shot you. Now you're just throwing things out there. But in any case, it looks like it's too late to get to the phone now. Darn, I think we missed our chance. How oh, was it? Could I have been him when he was walking past? Oh, I couldn't, because I couldn't go into the ghost thing when he was there. Uh... Time is passing. I'm worried about that detective memory. Memory? After all, they call her the Lynn of the Special Investigation Unit. Well, well, did you hear that? Well, well, did you hear that, detective? At least it's better than me being called the memory of the detective division. At any rate, I better report to Inspector Caminiello before I worry about that lasting device, listening device. You. No, let me, let me do, let me do things. Let me. Boo. This is point X. Come in, chief. Uh, I can't remember what voice I gave this guy. Oh, it was like, hey, Chief, hey, did he show up? Uh, no, sir, not yet, but... Eddie, I told you to stay off the radio unless it was important. That's foot guy, I think. But this is important, sir. Somebody else showed up. A rookie detective, Lynn. Oh, no, so that wasn't the phone call. That was this. So what was the phone call? I don't know. <gasps> oh, no, that, that's, that's not a detective inspector. That's the... Uh, the what? You see my baby over there, do you? I heard she was on the lam. What do you want me to on the lam? What do you want me to do, Chief? She was on the lam. An expression for like on the run, maybe. Detective, get my baby away from Point X. On the lam. It means on the run. Okay, I've never heard that expression. Nice. Do it now, man, and then hold on to her. Yes, sir, I'll go get her now, sir. Oh, I was hoping that the dick inoculars being on the stairs, is, or on the chair, was going to help. There's much time left. We have to stop him fast. Otherwise, he's going to crash into the chicken kitchen. <laughs> hmm. This is like that game, isn't it? That game of chicken. Ellipses, indeed. <clears throat> Sorry, but... What's a game of chicken? Sorry, I better choose my audience more carefully the next time I tell a joke. Mm, never mind that. We have to do something. Trick time. Uh, well, I mean. <laughs> it's just, I knew that would happen. But his steering wheel come off. <clears throat> what do you think you're doing? Oh, uh, I just thought I better do something. <laughs> Well, hurry up and put the seat back up. I can't, it's too heavy. All I can do now is hope this guy has strong ab muscles. <laughs> yeah, no, that's gonna cause a crash. <laughs> and everyone died. <laughs> oh, that was very silly. <clears throat> Time's up. <laughs> Oops, that was my bad. I get that you felt like you had to do something, but that? 
Well, there isn't really much I can do once the van's moving. We should rethink this. Was there any other path before that? Guess I better rewind the clock again and see if I can pick up any other clues. From the beginning! Trick time. Hmm. We've already looked at that. But this is that <laughs> that box opening there. I don't know if it's just a nice animation. Right there. Okay, can I do anything? Are you gonna be interested in this now? No, okay. F. Rip. Okay, we got the binoculars. Maybe it's when the guy's near the radio, maybe. Aha! Ring! Now do I do the binocular thing? Oh, now the, now the phone's happening. Okay, I think I know what I need to do. <clears throat> I have an idea. Because he goes to the phone, and then he goes back to stake out. Which means, if I can... Let's get down to the chair. If I can get him... Do the alarm thing, but after the binoculars in place, then he'll open the door, see the binoculars there, pick them up, and then we can travel where he travels. Come on, chuck the binoculars in. Do it, sir. <clears throat> That's my theory. Mm. Yeah. What are these doing here? Bring a lane. Cool, right. Progression. We are the binoculars. <clears throat> we never did read that leaflet, but then again, we can't read. All right, listen to the phone conversation. What's happening? Oh, hello. Detective Rinch. Rinch? Rinch. <laughs> Rinch. This is memory. Oh, this is memory. Hence the two day job. She's undercover, I get it. Rinch. <laughs> This, this goes well with our War Tales character that we met on Saturday, <laughs> whose name I can't remember. <clears throat> What's the matter? It's not time for your regular report. Listen to this. There's a sp suspicious couple in the bar upstairs. I'm gonna put a ladybug on them. A ladybug? You mean a listening device? Clamast, yes. Ringe and clamast. What a bundle of consonants. <clears throat> Don't do anything to blow our cover. Inspector Cavaniello will be furious. But they are doing all kinds of suspicious whispering. We have to find out what they're saying. You can pick up the signal from your van. Check out their conversation for me, would you? All right, fine. Once you get go going on something, I know there is no stopping you. Thanks, later then. And hold on. Did you see a customer come in just now? A young woman with red hair and red boots? Oh yeah, that restless, suspicious chick, sure. Suspicious. I mean, come on, as soon as she sat down, she ordered three glasses of water in a row. And she spilled the second glass on the table. Did she? Okay, fine, keep your eye on her too, if you would. You got it! Oh wow, that waitress was an undercover agent. She apparently thought you were pretty suspicious too. Oh yeah, sorry, I was really thirsty, so, you know. <laughs> mm, no, I don't know. Anyway, did you hear what I heard about the listening device? We have to do something about that bug. So, should we stay here or follow up on the waitress? 
Looks like it's time to make a decision. Decision? What? I mean... The thing that caused the crash was the burning of the bug, so I guess we should go there, right? There's not much else that we can do here. Yeah, let's go there. Let's try and bugger up the plans! Detective Memory, you have wine in your hat! <laughs> I saw that! MKG1043. The Kimchen. Hey, look where we are! The heart of the kitchen ch kitchen chicken chicken kitchen, yeah? Yep, or as most people say, the kitchen. <laughs> you don't have to say it like three times. <laughs> Sorry, I, I read the subtitles wrong. I hope the key to preventing that accident is hiding here somewhere. Oh, I bet it will be. You know what they say? Where there's smoke and chicken, there's fire. <laughs> is it? Hmm, now that you mention it, it is pretty smoky in here. It's rather smoky. Told you about the wine. You did. You did. Uh, there's a switch to turn on. I can scrunch and stretch a t-shirt. Oh, <laughs> look at me go. <laughs> Pot. Kettle. Black. Um. Rock the kettle. I didn't do anything. I don't anything with the pot. Okay, all the time you're moving around. Might be able to do something. What, what, what are you saying? You're saying what? Thoughts. Hey, look what she's doing! Do you think that could be... Yeah, she's probably planning the ladybug. Lynn, please don't set chickens on fire. <laughs> I think that's the extent of her cooking ability, maybe. <clears throat> now that I think about it, it's this waitress's meddling that starts the whole chain of events. The detective wouldn't have gotten his ears blown out and wouldn't have crashed. In other words, we're witnessing it with our own eyes. The cause of a huge disaster, slowly being planted in a chicken. So many good lines. Hey, I just had a good idea. About what to do with the ladybug? No, I, I was thinking, let her get crushed under the chicken instead of me. <laughs> Len, please. I can't tell her if you're kidding. At any rate, now we've seen the root cause of the accident. And all we have to do now is think of a way to take care of it. Uh, there's some, there's some things on the floor. There was a switch on the wall I didn't try. Probably should have tried that. Um. I can rock this kettle. It's smoky in here! Ah, that's the extractor fan, I see. Oh, I can get that like that, nice. But what if no? <laughs> Screw you! <laughs> uh, I don't know what... Ah! Pedal. Ah! Don't know what that did. Well, I mean, it rotated plates. Hey, what's up with this lazy? Oh, sorry. Hey, what's up with this lazy Susan? It's acting up today. Maybe it's out of sorts because I was spinning it around around on it yesterday. Hey, Mr. Chef, is that how you cook a chicken? Is literally on fire at the moment. <clears throat> Interesting thing for to do uh, for a lady of her age. Maybe it's out of sorts. How about thinking maybe it might be broken? But it it really isn't broken. It's just us ghosts. Just us goats, goats, goats. We're just goats, it's fine. Innocent goats. What are you doing? Can't you tell? I thought I'd give it a little spin. Oh, I get it. You're trying to get in the way of her planning that ladybug. But it just seems to be making her all the more determined. I guess this isn't gonna work. Uh. Ah. You, finish you put, put, put chicken, put chicken. Oh, he's pouring the wine on like, okay, I see. No. 
I want him to finish his chicken and then put it on a plate and then I spin it. And that doesn't do anything. Aha! There we go. And I turn the fan off. So now hopefully she'll want to turn around. Get into this guy's hat. Be a pedal. Come on, you get annoyed by the smoke. Chef's the most interesting character he fascinates you to no end. <laughs> Can we hop again and out for a while because you need to babysit? We'll be listening and smiling though. You got this smile. <laughs> okay, I've spun the chickens around. They're all set. They're all set. Ah, I solved your problem. There, how about that? The ladybug is still sitting on the table. We did it. So now Mr. Um, did... Chicken! That was so beautiful, chicken! <laughs> I took a bite, my heart swelled with pride, and I got goosebumps! What the heck is this? I'm consumed with the love of consuming you, la la la. He just gets a nice little song, yeah. And then he crashes because it's so bad. <laughs> Fate averted with chicken. <clears throat> well, looks like you've escaped the fate of being hammered by your horrible hen. All right, Mr. Alliteration. Just a friendly <laughs> reminder that Crispy writes his own music. Yeah, and that's my the, the little glimpse into my creative process. The answer is always chicken. Yeah, but I have, still haven't escaped the worst darkness of this terrible night. I, I shot you, didn't I? And there must have been some sort of complicated set of circumstances that made you do that. It's never okay to shoot a person, no matter what the circumstances. Hey, shouldn't that be my line? But anyway. You were investigating a case, and I was supposed to give you information on that case. Maybe it's time you told me about it. Tell me about the case you were looking into. I'd like to know more about the case. You had information about a case? There was a case, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah I guess I should. But let's go back to the new present first. Okay, sure. Back in the new present, the delicious aroma of chicken fills the air, but I'm still thinking about Lynn. I wonder if she's still waiting for her chicken to be served. <laughs> this is the most important questions being asked. I decided to go see her. See her and ask her the questions that were still consuming me. Just wait till you show out Ace Attorney. <laughs> are, there, are, are the Ace Attorney games available on Steam? I hope so. This may become a regular thing. Oi, hat. Tip your hat, please. Bing, thank you. Off we go. Uh, well, I guess we have to go by the by the phone, which we can call because it's not in the four minute thing. <clears throat> uh, let's see how everyone else is doing right now. Um, anybody in the junkyard? Did she just say, "Let's wait until I die next"? <laughs> I don't know. We can talk to her when she's alive. Now that we have saved her, we did it with missile. Hey, Ray. Ah, there you are again. It's getting late. How are things progressing? I saw the person who shot me. I saw the whole thing with my own eyes. Well, well, that is a big step forward by the sounds of it. Forward, huh? Doesn't feel like it. Here, let me share something with you. What's that? The truth is sometimes hidden in the shadow of what's being looked at and can't be seen properly. Don't forget that. The shadow of what's being looked at? Huh. I remember that. Okay, cool. More evidence supporting my theories. <laughs> Thank you. Luxurious parlor. How are the blue people getting on? They're not. Good. 
Lynn's apartment. No one's there, right? No, cool. <clears throat> I just checked they are. Oh dear. <laughs> this might be a recurring series then. If you do play the Ace Attorney games, I can't wait for you to meet one of your bastard sons. I know nothing about the Ace Attorney games at all. <laughs> um, other than that, obviously, they're like a, a courtroom thing. That's as far as my knowledge extends. Um, and they're also, they're also bonkers. <laughs> It'll be clear. <laughs> Won't remember it, can't remember. Yeah. Which one that describes so many characters? <laughs> Lady Red? How's, how's Lady Red getting on with her novel? Tap, 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 tap. Doesn't look like the novelist intends to sleep tonight. She'll complete her tale of love even if she has to type her fingers to the bone. Something seems to be missing from this bed. Oh god, the kid's gone. I don't see the bag of ice the little girl had on her feverish forehead. Hmm, she's not here. Did she go to the powder room? Powder room? Is she having a good time on the... Is she out having a good time on the town? She's like five. <laughs> I better be going myself. Okay, so the kids snuck out. That's interesting. How's the troubled man doing? Still waxing poetic? Is that the dire straits of his life? Ah, <laughs> Oh, is that you? <laughs> this feeling of waiting for a phone call that might never come. I wonder what sort of feeling he's waiting with. Oh, hello, you. <laughs> Your Excellency, are you sure you're all right, sir? Please stay back! How many times do I have to say it? <laughs> I love the salute. I'm very sorry, Your Excellency. We're all just very worried about you, sir. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled like that. But don't worry about me. Please just leave me alone. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Top-notch character designs in this game. The tension in this room is palpable. It's as if something's about to happen. Trick time! There's still nothing I can do, right? What a picture, flag. I can flap the flag a little bit. About as much as is possible. Okay, well, <clears throat> off we go. So it is worth going to these places, because we know that the child's gone now. Let's go to Temsic Park, now we know it's called that. <clears throat> the entrance to the nearly deserted, dimly lit park. Stakeout guy's gone. Detective Ringe must be at the restaurant now. Now that he's back, he might be arresting Lynn as I speak. I probably better go over there too. Come to think of it, I don't see that odd man around here anywhere either. Maybe he's off somewhere dreaming about the gods right now. Yeah, that guy. I'm suspicious of that guy. Super's office. Pigeon man. I know I'm just extending this playthrough by doing this. Pigeon man, what's your problem? It's that old pigeon guy again. He's looking at the stuff he has on the wall. All this equipment I've never seen before. Who is this guy anyway, and what's he up to? Doesn't look like he's gonna budge from that spot. Guess I'll go somewhere else. Well, yeah, but maybe we can learn about science. No? Okay, too far away. That's where we need to go. Guard room! How are Bailey and Shrimp getting on? I'm playing this correct. I want to know about all the characters and the things. <clears throat> No! 
What do you think of my quirky behavior? Surprise? You seem bored, so I sort of wake you up. You could call that my gotcha move. What do you think? Hey, wait a minute. Are you dead? Dead? Of course not. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I'd surprise you, but you surprised me. You're good. Oh, you're good. Bless them. Uh, they're getting all right. <clears throat> Uh, well, yeah, let's, let's see how people are doing in the cells. Mr. Punky? Even time is like a caged animal here. Nothing much seems to have changed since I visited last. Spikey's still making that horrible noise. He's eating chicken. The bearded painter is still attacking his meal with gusto. And whatever the hell's going on here is going on here. The curry lover's stuck. My time will soon be locked away for me as well. I can't waste what I have left. Better get going. <laughs> uh, I guess we can go to the lower room, see if we can see what's going on with Sausage Head. Thought they were twerking. I mean, kind of. Into the cells. Oh, no, we can't get there. What is, what is this machine? This machine is confusing me. I don't really understand it. But he's stuck, so that's interesting. <clears throat> uh, guard room. Brain vacuum. Right, let's leave. External line. Basement. Probably nothing here, but it's worth a look. Blink. I don't hear anything. I guess nobody's here. The darkness and quiet are relaxing, but there's no sense in staying here. Oh, there's a thought, though. The mechanical murder machine in this room. It must have been set up by that old pigeon guy. But what in the world for? Birth birthday theme as well. It's very strange. Hmm. We can get in, but we can't do anything. Um, special investigation. See who's still here. Probably not Cabin Yellow. He's probably over at the chicken kitchen at this point. Oh, footman. Boo. Looking troubled, the chief is wiggling his itchy toes. Don't remind me. <gasps> hey, chief here. It looks like I won't be able to get home tonight. You go ahead and get some sleep without me. Yeah, I love you too, honey. Is your name just the Chief? Uh. Mm, I guess he was radioing his wife. Scratch his itchy toes. No! Refuse. Theo called her on the phone. I could have gone and seen what she looked like. Is that why he did it on the radio? Uh, yeah, there's nothing else to do here. We've learned he has a wife. Interesting. Anything else in the kitchen? Probably not. That's what we. That's where we just came from. Right. Continuing with the story. Oh no! Hello, you're here. <clears throat> just as before, the delicious aroma of chicken fills the air. Nope. <laughs> Lord, Lord, a lovely maiden memory, goddess of chicken. What's well, with the song, Chef? Oh, I don't know why myself, but tonight I feel like singing to you as much as you like until you've had your fill. Oh, yeah? Well, if you're going to sing about me being a goddess, I guess I don't mind. That's all it takes, huh? Strange people. Right, let's go where we're supposed to go. To the chicken kitchen. Literally. Ten feet away. But of course we have to go through the entire telephone line to do that. We're here. 
The disastrous accident had been completely erased. Once again, I have saved the redhead detective from death. Saved Lynn, the criminal who stole my life. One question in particular hangs heavy on my mind. Why did she shoot me? Until I know the answer, I'll never be satisfied. Yum, 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 chicken. Yum, yum, yum. That's a lot of chicken. Meanwhile, Lynn's appetite is apparently foremost in her mind. The golden brown chicken sits on the table in front of her. Until she eats the whole thing, she'll probably never be satisfied. Yum, yum, yum. Eat the chicken. Come on. Uh. Ding, ding, ding. Wait, I was just supposed to get a hold of you, but then there was a thing. Is Lynn having a serious talk with that detective? <clears throat> nah, she's just gobbling down chicken. How did the detective uh, know to stake out this restaurant tonight? I better see if I can get some information. But more importantly, I have a lot of questions for that de lady detective. Oh, I didn't know you were here, Detective Ringe. Come to see me, did ya? Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, hi, memory. Uh, 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 what was my voice? Was this something like this? <laughs> Maybe American, I don't know. Uh, hi, memory, don't mind us. Just pretend we're not here. Why don't you try some chicken while you're here? No, thanks. Just watching Lynn eat is quite enough for me. So, how did it turn out with my ladybug? Oh, they list in device for us, see. I thought a gentleman had a very nice singing voice. No, oh, that was American. Wasn't it? <laughs> sorry, sorry, we're in the middle of an important talk. Could you leave us to it? But you guys are the ones who called me over! <laughs> I want to grab you. You're just an odd girl. I agree. Me too. Let, let me be, let me be. Uh, what? I'm too far away. Dang, dang, dang. Quick, grab. Grab her. Grab her. Grab. Bleh. Look off. Did you decide what you want? Some if you bleh. did you decide you want some chicken or me after all? I didn't call you. Sorry, but can you give us some privacy? No, stay right there. Huh? I'm in this crucial moment with this chicken here. At the crucial moment with this chicken here. I'll need you to pour me some water if it starts going down wrong. Well, and you don't have to risk your life over chicken, you know. He's right. Look at her attacking that thing. Anyway, I better move now while I have the chance. Blip! We're gone. Hmm, that's funny. Even though I just saved that detective, he doesn't have a core. That is interesting. I forgot about that. Not like the one Lin has, or that valiant little doggy missile. I thought the ones I save were supposed to develop a core when they're alive again. I mean, we didn't really talk with him. Maybe that's part of it. I guess I still have things to learn about these powers of the dead. He's undead! Oh, now he's a zombie! I'm glad they pointed that out, because otherwise I would not have thought about it at all. <laughs> the vampire! Zamble! A ghoul! Yeah, I like washing dishes and planting bugs. Someday I'll play in a big one on you, detective. Odd girl. I agree. Me too. He's a hologram. <gasps> right, what was going on? Listen, Lynn. You've explained your side, and I understand. But there's an APB out on you. What does APB stand for? Apprehend, post-based. Hence the chicken. Can you at least hurry up and get out of here? You know, slip away quietly. No can do. I'm meeting somebody here. Meeting somebody? Oh, yeah, that's right. The little lady, Camilla. But why do you have to meet somebody here? The special investigation unit is watching this restaurant. Now, how can that be a coincidence? I don't know, but it is a coincidence. Eh. Hey, is it true what they say? That you're uh, still looking into Detective Jowd's case on your own? <gasps> Inspector Kevin Yell is worried about you, you know. I understand how you feel, but just don't do anything crazy, okay? All points bulletin. 
A notice to all cops on duty to look out for something. Oh, okay. Hey then. I'm in your brain. So, how's that chicken you've been waiting for so long for? It's great! But, you know, with Detective Ringe, uh, that's his name, by the way, sitting right across from me, I mean, he was just dead a few moments ago, right? It's kind of taking the edge off my appetite. Oh, brother. But he's a great guy. He understands my situation, he said. He's going to give me a pass just for tonight. Speaking of Detective Ringe, I noticed something strange. He doesn't have a core now. He doesn't? I thought a core was supposed to show up once I saved somebody. Hmm, I wonder if... When you possessed his corpse, he was unconscious, right? Unconscious? It, yeah, he was, wasn't he? Just like you, you were unconscious the first time I saved you too. And after I saved you, you didn't have a core either. So, for people to be who are unconscious when you save them, no core shows up. I think that's probably what it is. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. You might be right. Okay, I'll leave Ringe to you then. But I've still got lots of questions for you. Yeah, I thought you would. Let's get started then. Death row inmate, Jowd, Mr. De Egg. What is your connection to prisoner De Egg, Detective Jowd? Didn't we know this? <laughs> Isn't that a dad? Or did I just assume that? He seems like more than just a co-worker. Yeah, I suppose you have the right to know. Detective Jowd is my hero! Hero, huh? You don't hear that word much anymore. Well, it's, it's an old-fashioned heroic kind of story. It happened ten years ago. I don't know who this is, so I'm gonna make up a voice. Now just calm down and drop that weapon! So stay back if you come any closer. I'll shoot her! I think he just assumed he was at it. Okay, that's, that's on me then. On that day, ten years ago, I was playing in my favorite park. And then suddenly, somebody grabbed my arm from behind. I was so scared, I thought I was gonna die. And then... Missile saved me. He appeared, Detective Jowd. Think of the hair. Made me think of him. Made me think of her. And then that really loud sound. I think it was the sound of a gun. I passed out. When I came to... Uh, okay, so this is the guy, I guess. What voice did I give him? No. Northern, maybe? From up north. You're out now. Are you hurt? You, he saved me, mister. I was just doing my job. The gods. They're the ones who saved you. What's your job, mister? Me. Well, I'm a police detective. Okay, I just assumed dad. That's mine. That's, yeah, I thought I assumed that. Fair enough. <clears throat> Ignore that was. That was autocorrect being more of a nuisance than usual. I mean, it makes sense. So that was why you became a detective, huh? That's right. He was my ideal of what a detective was all about. But an ideal detective doesn't shoot and kill his own wife. Exactly. Hmm? And that's why I want to prove that he didn't. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Point X. Detective Ringe works for the Special Investigation Unit. He said an important deal is set to go down tonight at this restaurant. A deal that could affect the future of our nation. A nation isn't something that's easily influenced, though. But that's what he said. Anyway, it's that couple at the table upstairs. Who'd have thought? Smiley face. <laughs> I hear they're foreigners. All right, Lynn, calm down. They're waiting for the other party in the deal to show up now. Those two, huh? They certainly, certainly are an odd... They certainly are an odd pair. Is this other party they're waiting for... me? That's kind of hard to imagine, isn't it? Nobody really knows any of the details of the deal except for one person. Who's that? Mr. Breezy Dancer in the white suit. 
Oh, hang on. Mr. Breezy Dancer in a white suit. They say he's been watching the movements of those two for a long time. It him! He dance. I've never seen him work so frantically on an investigation before. Inspector Cabaniella, huh? Apparently you're a real favorite of his. A favorite? Yeah, well, there's a reason for that. And what's that? Inspector Cabaniella. Is that her dad? <laughs> Inspector Cabaniello and Detective Jowd were good friends. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, dogs just posted a thing. Um, I will allow this. <laughs> He's a perv. Good friends or good friends. <laughs> Oops, having fun as well. Roommates, maybe. Yeah, I think I remember the prison guard saying something about that. Guess. They joined the detective division this very same day. They're two very different types, but they were always in friendly competition to do the best. To be the best. There ever was. Like no one ever was. <laughs> detective Jal was always very particular and thorough about thorough investigation of the crime scene. Cabaniella just liked dancing. And Inspector Cabaniella, uh, well, I guess he just has a natural genius for investigating. Anyway, those two led the detective, those two lead the detective division in those days. But Inspector Cabaniella's different now. He's changed a little. Oh, is he a villain? You changed? Ever since the Detective Jowd incident, now he distances himself from field work. And he's starting to focus on nothing but moving up the ladder. Hmm. So that's how I became the head of the Special Investigation Unit, I take it. Anyway, Inspector Cabaniella took me under his wing. Because you were the little girl his good friends had saved, saved huh? <laughs> I can speak. He really looked out for me, helping me study for my detective's exam. Fudging my exam scores for me. Uh, that goes a little beyond the scope of looking out for you. Inspector Cabaniella, huh? I wonder what role he plays in everything that's happening tonight. Hmm. Chad might be married, but Polly is very much a thing, and they're good friends, yes. <clears throat> Stole a lady's finger, then died. Typical Ringo. Okay. Wasn't really thinking about Gabriella up until now, but... Hmm. Camilla! Sure is taking Camilla long enough. She should have been here by now. I'm getting really worried. You two are like sisters, aren't you? That's what Camilla said. Yep, that about sums it up. Doesn't look like being worried affected your appetite much, though. Hey, the bigger the crisis, the more girls gotta eat. Hmm. Have to make sure Camilla stays safe no matter what. Camilla! And that music box, too! Oh, yeah, the music box. Forgot about that. Music box. Oh, yeah, that wooden box. Weren't suspicious of Cabaniella? No, he's just a, a, a dancing fool. <laughs> you suspect Cabaniella of shenanigans. Yes. Surprised by that too. I, my brain is, works differently. And by differently, I mean badly. Um, that box was pr- No, that box was a present from Detective Jowd. So it probably has the key to this entire case in it. From Detective Jowd? Yeah, it was five years ago. That box arrived three days after that murder incident. He must have sent it just before he was arrested. Someday, when the case is over and everything's settled, I want you to give this to a certain person, he said. So what's inside? I don't know, I can't open it. This is very... <laughs> we have a MacGuffin, everyone. We've got a MacGuffin. Hmm, that's a shame. Cecil, I... <gasps> did I really shoot you? Where did that come from, out of the blue? I, I really don't remember. I've tried and tried, but I just can't. Now I finally understand how you must feel. And how hard it is to have your memory gone, your story erased. But who knows, knowing the truth might have been even harder. Distracting people with his dance moves from his true motives? Classic. I'd rather believe there's hope myself. Hmm. His vibes have been off for a while now. I just thought he was worried. I'm not good at... Vibes. <laughs> I'm bad at telling what people are... Like. Um, throwing it out there in case you might be wondering if Sicily's Jowd's son or something. 
Interesting theory. I'm not going to throw my theories around. <laughs> Do I have chicken on my face? You're staring. Smiling. Kira's smiling. Hmm. Sorry, you should stop thinking when the stream is still happening. Um, I bet you're thinking about how impressed you are with the way I took care of that chicken. I mean, just tell me one thing. The case you say you're looking into. Is it Detective Childs? Mm. What if it was? Yeah, I, I can't keep it from you. It's too cruel. Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm sorry, Lynn. It's, it's tonight. Detective Childs, you know... It's tonight. His execution. <gasps> but there's still time. I looked into it, and I found out all the executions in this country are carried out at dawn. And that may be the norm, but not this time, I'm afraid. What? The execution set for 11 p.m. <laughs> Very specific. What did you say? Well, it's gonna happen pretty soon. Isn't there anything we can do to stop it? Weird. Yeah, there's there's something very odd going on with that whole situation. I don't know what it is. There's gonna be some sort of weird conspiratorial plot going on. Um, of course not. It's too late now. Oh, of course not. It's too late now. Not without a stay of execution from the justice minister. Is that the worried man? Hmm. I'm gonna go see him then. What? See who? Who else? The Justice Minister! Don't be ridiculous, there's not enough time! I'm going! Cecil! Me? Get to the prison, stop that execution! Uh, easy enough for you to say. Detective Ringe, I'll be going now. Uh, okay, I'll let you go this time. I'll tell them I was distracted because I was eating chicken. Is there anything else I can do? Could you find Camilla? She's supposed to be on her way here. Oh, your little Camilla! Okay, you got it. I'll look for her. Okay, you know what to do, Cecil. You have to save Detective Jowd. She's saying that out loud. <laughs> the life of yet another person I'm connected to somehow is about to end tonight. Could it be a coincidence? Or is there something more behind it all? Detective Jowd is destined to be executed tonight. I don't know if that fate is the wrong one for him or the right one, but I've decided to go to the prison anyway. <laughs> yeah, who's who's Cecil? I have another theory about the connection between uh, Cecil and Jowd. So it's just been a bloodbath, but we keep draining the bath. It's fine. Clear chapter seven. The t ten o five to ten fifty five. <laughs> We've got five minutes <laughs> to stop this execution. We spend so much time on chicken. <laughs> I got a new song, Lynn the Pursued Redhead. A new illustration. Save my current place and then time? Yes, please. Continue playing. We have to stop an execution. <clears throat> uh, this was slightly spoiled for me because I was trying to look up um, Bailey's name. Um, and I saw uh, the, on the wiki, it said, appears in the chapter, stop the execution. <laughs> so that was slightly spoiled for me, but that's the only other spoiler I've got. Um, whole extra minute, wow, yeah, I know. We only needed four, it'll be fine. I went to try and rescue prisoner De Egg. Even under ordinary circumstances, that prison has a strange atmosphere, but this time there is something even stranger about it. They smooch in, they're not smooch in. Why are you standing up? You're doing karate moves. An execution. With my memory gone, I don't have a clear image of what that is in my head, but even I can sense some strong feeling of foreboding, foreboding that hangs in the air. We don't know what an execution is. Maybe I'm too late. Oh, they switched. Oh yeah, they switched. <laughs> Look at them go. So, how's it going? This is a generator in the basement. He's going, he's going! <laughs> yes! <laughs> They're trying to fix it now. It's going to take a while, they said. 
They haven't even gotten the internal phones air back up yet. So that BTTV ammo. <laughs> if you got it. <laughs> Look up a panic dance. The crowd goes wild. Oh yeah, Ragdoll's got it. <laughs> so it is. <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> what it does when it's scared. No, oh, look at Twiggy. Oh. It's got a dance to go with this theme. Oh, if you told me that, we would have written something for that. They haven't even gotten the eternal phone there back up yet. I just hope the rowdies don't rush the guard room. Oh, we don't have any rowdies here. And what's more, the one who committed the most atrocious crime isn't even here anymore at all. You promise not to talk about that! <laughs> Look, would you knock it off that we're flipping and flopping around? I can't stand looking at it. If you don't stop, I might just have to pound you. This, this is a glorious dance. It's been passed down in my family for generations. When you don't know what else to do, dance, dance, dance. Gonna what now? Gonna pound. <laughs> Behave. <laughs> we call it the panic dance. <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> <clears throat> this is special detention calling from the death chamber. The internal phone is finally back up. It's pitch black down here though, until they get the generator going again. How's it going up there? The phone's been ringing off the hook from headquarters. Oh boy, we can't let the existence of this person become known to the outside world. We have to round up the prisoners somehow. Is Bailey dancing? <laughs> this is a known thing. <laughs> yeah, you should see him. Take a video of it, we can all watch it together when we're done. Once the generators back up, I'll record it with the security camera. <laughs> it's not new, it's the game! More said. Generator still not up! I can't keep this up much longer! Believe me, nobody's asking you to. Why don't you just stop? Will you dance instead, son? Me? You kidding me? Somebody has to do it. <gasps> if that somebody is me, I'll keep dancing until I drop. Now, come down, Bailey. <laughs> Despite how it looks, the situation seems pretty serious. <laughs> Trump dance. <laughs> Bailey's dance is, uh, certainly intriguing. But that telephone call that came in is even more interesting. The man said he was calling from the death chamber, huh? Now that I have the extension number, I should go check it out. I mean...
<laughs> is this in the phone book? We should, but this isn't. I mean. Mean. These do update as time goes on, as far as I'm aware. Um. In grave situations, he performs the panic dance, a dance that's been passed down in his family for generations. This is now part of... Yes, this is very important information. It's in the phone book. Yeah, the phone book's just a list of locations we've been to and all that. Um... <laughs> How could one not watch Bailey dance, though? Exactly. We need to learn this. Perform it at social gatherings. <clears throat> right. Internal extension. Special detention. It, the things look broken then. What's going on? Uh, no, the thoughts. Thoughts first. So this is the death chamber, huh? But what's going on? I can't see anything. Is this what they call darkness? See, Karen, now I'm smiling. <laughs> I better do something about the situation. H. This is not good, not good at all. Um, I've run out of pitches to do with that accent yet, so... Yeah, I feel like a ghost is gonna show up any minute now. Hey, come on, show some respect, there's a dead man here. That's right, me. But, who never saw that phone coming, did you? Who could've? Anyway, the generator's gonna be fixed soon, so I guess we hang tight. Well, somebody died. Generator, huh? Once that's restored, this darkness will be gone. It seems that's the first thing that has to be done. It seems that's the first thing to have. Oh, hello. What's going on here? Ooh. I guess darkness doesn't really exist in the ghost world. Even without light, I can still see what's going on. I can use the ghost world to help me find that generator. Over here, probably? Hello! Power supply. Wrench. Emergency light. Light. I'll leave that for a second. What's going on in here? Who are you? Oh, jeez. Where did that wrench go? Without it, I can't sight the last belt on the generator. Oh, I sure wish I could see in the dark like a cat. Or like a ghost. Smiles more. I've seen these things before, some kind of tool for turning things. Sissel, how do you how do you know so much and nothing at the same time? Yeah, I have theories. Um It's leaning up against the wall. If I knock it over, I wonder if he'll notice. Uh, darn, it's too heavy, it won't budge. So some sort of Rube Goldberg contraption. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Light. Water drop. <laughs> in a bucket. Toolbox. Clunk clunk. Huh. Oh, hey, there... Uh, oh, hey, there it is. Can't remember the voice. Smiley face. <laughs> there, done. Get her done. The light bulb spinner is working now. Oh, that's the that's the the guy digging. Well, they're all out. <laughs> Gee, what are we thinking? Now the lights are back on, but what happened here? The answer is still shrouded in darkness. I better see if I can pick up some more information. Can't seem to shake this bad feeling I've got. <laughs> we can only go on the gold one. Okay, grounding sphere. Okay. Here we go. You, what's going on? Spoon, have you fallen asleep? What's going on? The big guy seems to be taking a nap here. I doubt my paltry powers are enough to wake him. Rest in peace, Kari lover. Hmm. It's kind of spooky when a ghost says it. You don't know what darkness is. How do you know what a shroud is? <laughs> okay, so he's just doing his thing. That's fine. All right, back here. Uh, is it still dark here? No, it's not. 
Whew, something really bad happened in this room. Trip, trip. It's like there was some kind of explosion in here or something. It's an electric chair. And it looks like... True. The center of that explosion was that thing. That chair. Oh, poison. We'll get to that. We'll get to the poison. No, it wasn't poison. It was an electric chair. Um... Hey, do you think this execution was really the right thing to do? What? What the heck are you saying? I mean, I know this country has the death penalty, but how many years has it been since we used this chair? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it had quite a bit of dust and dirt on it. I bet that's what happened. All the debris damaged the wiring. Well, I think it was divine retribution. D don't be stupid. The prisoner wanted to be executed, you know. There he is. Did he see that? Inspector Jowd. I guess it was too late. Uh, so what are they going to pick up his body? They'll be sending over a car from the public cemetery pretty soon. After we hand over the body and clean up the mortuary, we're done. Yeah, okay. But we can save. Gonna burn quote 128. So Detective Jowd has already been executed. Looks like there was a reason for that bad feeling I was getting. But that's okay, this isn't a big problem. For me. But if the body's taken from the mortuary, that'll be bad. I have to use my ghost tricks to save him before that happens. This chair scares me. I don't want to repair it or get anywhere near it. Who knows when it's gonna blow up again. Thoughts? <laughs> Mrs. Ace is having thoughts. <laughs> or let loose with the juice. Yeah, shut up, man. Accidents happen with anything, after all. But let's just get this thing fixed. Come on. If I'm executed by an accident, I'm gonna come back and haunt you. Haunt me? Why? Mm, sounds like a pretty dangerous chair. Hmm, a chair that gives shocks. Can I use that somehow? I'm not gonna kill them, am I? <laughs> Buzz. Oh, drip, drip. Lake the chair. Lake the chair. I sure had misgivings when I tried this lever, but nothing happened. Kind of disappointing, really. Maybe something else has to be done first. Uh, something in here, right? Power supply. Manipulate the power supply. This appears to be some kind of control panel. I might be able to operate it. I'll give it a try. Blink, blink, blink. Blink, blink, blink. Some lamps came on. Not lamps again! Bloody lamps. Not sure what that means. Maybe that changed the situation, though. Okay, now buzz. Now go bzz, bzz, bzz. Aha, gotcha. I just got a shock! Do you know what a control panel is? You don't know what darkness is. I was thinking that, but yeah, I, I can I can forgive something. It's fine. Uh, we're over here now. Um, what's in here? An open toolbox. Get up the water. And now on this headpiece, which we can presumably move. Don't don't. Okay. <gasps> Son of a. Rock the cart! So the cart's full of rocks, but that's fine. Ah, buddy. Same thing here. Looks like this is just an internal phone too, it doesn't call outside. So the only places I can go with this telephone are other phones within the building that I've already possessed. Good to know. Good to know. Flowers. Oh, yes, some flowers. Um, hello, sir. <clears throat> hello, de egg. Hey, can you hear me? Where, where am I? This is the ghost world, the land of the dead, Detective Jowd. Detective Jowd? Who's that? Is that me? Oh boy, not you two. This is getting old. Ah, the swapping to a northern accent, that's messing with me. <laughs> Guess I'll just give the usual explanation, the dead lose their memories. Oh, so am I dead, am I? I didn't realize that. 
That's why you can't remember anything right now. That's fine with me. Huh? I don't like a messy room, but I hate cleaning up even more. Not having my memories is a welcome thing. Now, I don't have much trash to take out. Memories are like trash. <laughs> Reactions are good for this game. Now that I'm dead, what more do I need with memories? And things I don't need are just trash. Not to me, I need your memories. Besides, I promised Lin I'd try to stop your execution. Lin! Hmm. Looks like I still have a few bits and pieces of garbage left lying around. Yeah! Look at you with your beard. Almost... <laughs> you don't fit on the screen, sir. I remember now about Lin, Jowd, and the execution. What about you? Who are you? I'm Sissel. I'm looking for my memory, or trash as you call it. Sissel. Does my name ring a bell? I think you know me. Sorry. Must not have been a very big piece of trash to me. Yeah, that's all right. I guess you can find out when you got your memory back. They're both in the same part of the throat, this voice, so it's purely accent and I'm getting tripped up on it. But for now, I'd like you to come back with me, back to four minutes before your execution. If I could come back down. I'm doing great, I'm trying. <laughs> Special prison cell block, four minutes before death. Is this the past? Four minutes before my death. That's right. You'll get to see your own execution. And then we're gonna change your fate. But first, I can I ask you a question? Lynn told you, didn't she, about what I did? Yeah, she did. Then is it really the right thing to do to save a guilty guy, to save a guy like me? I don't know. <laughs> but Lynn believes it is. Hmm. Okay, let's get started. Check in! Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> See? It is her father. Look at that. <laughs> they chicken the same way. <laughs> X's. No, there's a guard coming. Huh? It's clogged! Oh no. Bailey! <laughs> I'm in position. Why is Jow kind of... <laughs> Hungry. Um... Tomato juice. Huh? Just making observations. Do you like him? Oh, they, they all walk like that. There are many Baileys! <laughs> so, the time's finally here. Yeah, I wonder how many years it's been. The last time you weren't even here yet. I never thought I'd have to attend an execution. They're all Bailey. But you know, I wonder why the Justice Minister suddenly signs the order. Oh, it's the, it's, that's the guy. That's the guy who's ranked with guilt. He signed the order for this and he's like, eh. There's definitely something up with that. Hey, come on, let's just focus on our work. Yeah, all right. There's definitely no one else walks like that. That's Bailey. <laughs> the Bailey brothers. Prisoner to egg, it's time. Let's go. All right, men, I'm ready. Sorry you have to go through this unpleasant experience. What? No, no, we, uh... Oh, well. Guess it's all about collecting experiences for you and for me. <laughs> oh, it's easy. Um, prepare to test. Throw the switch. And then it just blew up. <laughs> well, all right then. 
So this is an execution, huh? Seems to me there's gotta be a safer way to do it. <laughs> Must have been nice to have no memory, no memory like that. It makes things more interesting. I envy you, I really do. It's no laughing matter to me. That was an example of a failed execution, although the outcome was the same. Failed? It's the face! They haven't carried out an execution in a long time. They dragged that old chair out from under some mothballs and I guess it had a short. So I guess that means if I can stop that explosion. Hmm, I don't know about that. Then I'd just be executed as planned and I'd still wind up just as dead. Hmm. So what should I do? Beats me. You're the one who came here to save me, you figured it out. He's not making this easy. Why'd you know what an explosion is? Oh, well, that's reasonable. Things go bang, it's fine. Right, trick time, here we are. Uh, well, no, sorry. Thoughts to be thinking. All right then, four minutes from now, this chair will short out and explode and you'll die. That is sad. If I stop the explosion, you'll be executed and you'll still die. Sorry I was ever born. I have to protect you from the explosion and stop the execution. The key to the whole thing must be this chair. I apologize for all your... I apologize for all your trouble. Uh, could you stop with the insincere comments? <laughs> I don't know what a short is. The guy said the short. <laughs> the guy mentioned the short. Um... No, I thought that was on him. Um... Well, presumably I can get somewhere from this, right? Gonna beat Sizzle with that chair. It's no use, I can't use the phone lines right now. Oh yeah, yeah, four minutes. Right now, I can only move over phone lines in the past when it's in use. Sadly, this applies to the internal extensions as well. I see, looks like life's really tough for everyone. Even you. You too. Uh, there's nothing I can do in here. Ring ring! I'm in position. The other two are coming to bring the prisoner to you now. Got it? Go there! Smooch Jowd and go sit with the lady of the riding crop. <laughs> Look, you can adopt Jowd and riding crop lady. A little red riding crop. Um, and Cheap can have Bailey and Trimp. When you make art, you fought the universe and won. That's, that's an interesting quote. There, we escaped from the death chamber. Good for you. A little stuffier now, wants it? That's not exactly what I was worried about. All right, what now? Hmm, stop the execution and save your life. I think I'm getting an idea. You are, are you? I'd be very interested to hear it. Let's just get down there first. Uh, possess paper. Open it up, and go swoosh. No? <gasps> All right, my jam grooved out the clog. Now get down there to sausage head. Go! Do -do 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 -do. If he's asleep, right? By well, the ding ding might wake. Oh, look at him go. I don't like the way he moves. <laughs> Don't care about your spar, I need to explode a woman. <laughs> Somewhat fitting. I need to unexplode a man. <laughs> Logical opposite here. You hate him. I don't know I don't know what's going on with him. Very Japanese design. <laughs> what's the thing? I don't what's the I wanna know more about that. In the present world, four minutes into the future, Sausage Head was lying passed out in the tunnel. Not knowing about the execution, he must have kept digging and digging. And the guards didn't notice he was gone. So I guess Koryman's future has now changed a bit. Fate change, checkpoint. Um, makes you very uncomfortable. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I'm gonna worry, Kara, it's this game. Sissel, I'm sure you know this, but uh, time's ticking. Almost time for the execution. 
If you don't execute the plan pretty soon, it's gonna get tough. I think I do have a plan. Do you? I'm looking forward to seeing it. The only problem is, I don't see a path to get there yet. I'm really sorry about all this trouble you're going through for me. Funny, you don't look the least bit sorry. Hey, can you read blackboards? <laughs> it's no use. No matter how many times I try, I still can't read what it says. This blackboard's different from the one in Prisoner D99 cell. The ugh. So that's actually still the same text from the previous one, and they, they haven't changed it. Um, I can I can ding the bell. That's something I can do. And it gets him up, maybe. There's nothing I can possess on him, though. The thing. But there was a way down from here, right? If, if he goes in the tunnel, if he grabs his spoon. Or it is hooked up to a machine, yeah. But there won't be a note there, and last time we did this. There's something I can do here. Yeah, there's no note, and he's gonna go, hmm, there's no note. Okay, I won't do it then. But I guess we're, we can be moved like that. So we can get to the guy, at least. Why is this man a hot dog? We don't know! He's called Sausage Head! <laughs> the most we've got. Alright, you, can I be your napkin, please? <laughs> the, the famous play from Final Fantasy IX, Can I Be Your Napkin? Um... I was surprised to see something in here. What is it? Well, there's a circle on the wall. <laughs> you sure can't back it away. A detective should eat until he reaches that critical moment. That's what I always say. And you have a young pupil that follows that advice to the letter. What are you doing? What are you going to? Yeah, what are you going to do now, Cecil? As long as these iron bars are here, escape's impossible. Is it possible to stop the execution from here? Probably not. I'm looking for a path now. Maybe something here will give me an idea. Maybe. Is there something else? More thoughts. Did you see that? The huge can just went flying up in the air. Yeah, that's my ketchup can. Ketchup? To go with hot dog next door. I just love ketchup. Can't get enough of the stuff. Probably have ketchup running through my veins. Hmm. I just can't seem to muster a laugh over that one. Muster to laugh. <laughs> but I did kind of make the red O a mark. Yeah, I wonder what that's all about. What's the idea here? Blackboard still says nothing, presumably. Newspaper article we can't read. Hmm. Num num chicken. You're gonna try and wipe that off the wall with a napkin and then that's something that's gonna happen there? Why did you do that? Why was that a thing? Oh, hang on. Timing. This thing's as full as I am. Or that. Oh! You silly game. Okay. After fate change, please. <laughs> this is very silly. How do we get the guy into the tunnel? He needs a piece of paper with an O on it. That is wonderfully silly. I like that. <laughs> You are too floppy, sir. Let me be your spoon. No. Let me be your spoon now. And now we wait for spoonage to occur. <clears throat> hmm, there isn't a circle on this napkin as I was expecting. 
Doop, doop. Get in here, become Ben. <clears throat> Can you conspicuously hold your napkin to the side for a second, sir? as full as I am. Down we go! Timing! Oh, he's gonna pick us up, it's fine. <clears throat> and then we'll become the spoon. Be a spoon. Spoon, please. Spoon. Get in the tunnel, sir. Gee. Sausage Edge sure looks happy. So now that he's seen the O paper, he'll go down to the tunnel to dig. Maybe this is the chance I've been waiting for. Yeah, I got that. Gee. Here come my escorts. Uh oh, I haven't found a path yet. I see mine quite clearly. Path to the chair, that is. What do I do? Well, we're gonna go down here, right? Don't wiggle. Unpleasant. Right, here we are. So we have very little time to do whatever it is we're gonna do here. Um, probably turn the power off, right? appears to be some kind of control panel. I might be able to operate it. Nope, it's already on and the buttons are locked. Guess I can't operate it now. Uh... Break it now. Well, they get it. You dislike him. <laughs> what, what just happened? The power's down, so that's a whole facility. No way! If the power's down, that means all of the servers open automatically. This is a terrible design. The internal phones aren't working either. State of emergency. Now the execution can be carried out and your life is saved. <whistles> Bit averted. Dance. <laughs> dance. Time to dance. Everybody dance. You're a pretty daring guy. I really enjoyed myself, and I think I learned a thing or two as well. About what? By the way, is it true what the guard said? The cell bar is open automatically? Yup, it's true. It's a little drawback to the system. The entire facility blacks out, or if the entire facility blacks out, the locks are released for the prisoner's safety. But nobody thought it would ever actually happen. So in other words, now that now's the time to escape if you're gonna. Anyway, we managed to stop the execution. Let's get back to the present. You're still not out of the woods yet. Oh, let me give you one piece of advice. What's that? When we get back to the present, head for the spoon. Spoon, huh? You'll see when you'll air. Yeah, you'll see when we get back, Sissel. Spoon. Head for the spoon. How do you know what woods are? You know, was the that makes that's fine. That's fair. Now the execution can be carried out and Detective Jowd is safe for the moment. A new present has been born. However, Jowd still isn't safe for execution, of course. I still, I guess I still have a job to do. Help a death row inmate escape from prison. He knows some general concepts. We get that. He just doesn't know science. He can't read. He doesn't know science. We've got an illustration of an exploded uh, execution room. Oh, I don't like the, the sausage guy's the achievement. I don't like that. Got a new song, Jowd, Taken by Fate. Save. Yes, please. Continue playing? No. Only so much the throat can take. <laughs> but yeah, we've got extras. Challenges? Oh, I see. We, we, we beat chapters. Okay. Oh, they were done chapter 8. How many chapters were there? 
17. So we're about halfway through. Hold that thought and keep watching, I swear to God. <laughs> Doesn't know what darkness is. Again, there is a, I think there's a reason for that. I, I, I'm getting more and more evidence that my hypothesis is true. Um, but we'll see. I've yet to see anything that contradicts it, but I may be wrong. Uh, got some wallpaper scissors. Like, importantly. Wee wee wee. Oh, this is a cinematic. Close the wallpaper. <laughs> wow, we, we got that. I hope everyone enjoyed. <laughs> I was just gonna look at this. Hey, you, you, I've mentioned this before, I think, <clears throat> that um, my brain has this uh, childish reaction to seeing things I like and going, I want to do that. I want to write a mystery story. <laughs> I want to write a really silly mystery. Um, Did I not see all of these? Another one? Ah, changing fate. Variation. <gasps> Variations. Play trial version. I don't know what that means. Do it! <laughs> I'm trying to do too many things. How about... <laughs> okay, hear me out. <clears throat> I was thinking of doing... Uh, when we did 16 symbols, randomly generated plot structures. We, we did that because the Final Fantasy plots were seemingly random. I like the idea of doing one for Metal Gear Solid as well, because the plots of those games seem random. A lot of the events in this, they're obviously building to something, but a lot of things are just happening out of the blue, and it's like, oh my god! Randomly generated detective story! <laughs> Where we have to actually try and build a mystery as we go. <laughs> Is that an idea? I don't know, I just came up with it. Um, another idea to toss on the pile. Uh, or we can actually try and craft something special. Oh, the, an idea. Mm. If we did it collaboratively, we could all have a character whose backstory only we know and how they integrate into the plot. <laughs> and then, we, like, if there's any collisions of, like, logic, we're like, okay, how do we solve this and all that? That would be an interesting idea. Probably awful, but it's, you know, it's an idea. <laughs> we write a detective story with a known death or something like that. A phone game, but it's a murder mystery, basically, yeah. There's like a known death. We know when, where it happened, when it happened. But we don't know like who did it or the circumstances or whatever. Um, and everyone just has characters with their own integrated, like, <laughs> suspicions and hidden motivations and events and stuff like that. And we just got to work it out from there. <laughs> Who reveals next? That's random. <laughs> again, this might be a terrible idea. <laughs> then again, 16 symbols could have been a terrible idea and it was great. So, sounds fun. Oh, another thing for the pile. Oh God. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Um, this is still fun. Still no missile. Still haven't seen missiles. Oh, we got more Bailey, which is good. Um, but no normal missile. We've got a dancing Bailey to add to dancing lamp and dancing uh, missile. <laughs> Miss, even when you're not trying, you get that quote. <laughs> this is a great fun. This is a good game. I'm really enjoying this. It's so silly. But apparently the Ace Attorney games are on Steam, so maybe that's going to be a recurring thing. We've got the Hitman series, the, well, we finished the Alone in the Dark series now, um, and now the series of games made by this creator. Gonna have to learn the panic dance. <laughs> we all have to learn the panic dance so we can do it together, in person. I mean, I can do the lamp dance, that's easy. At least all the time my knees keep working. Um, but anyway, yes, thank you for coming. Hope you enjoyed. Yeah. End game. Quiet silence. Um, yeah. Hope you had a lovely time. Uh, I will be back tomorrow evening with Final Fantasy IX.
I don't quite know how the, this draw through is going to go because we are effectively in the last area of the game now. And it's mostly bosses and then an epilogue. We probably won't get it all done next time unless we do like a really long stream. We might do. Who knows? Um, but we get in there. We are, we're, we're certainly getting there. One or two more streams and then that'll be over and then we can start planning our randomly generated murder mystery <laughs> draw through. Um, how, oh, I'm going to have to go think about that, how that's going to work. <sighs> Bloody ideas. Why do they keep happening? Uh, yes. Anyway, hope you enjoy. Um, draw through tomorrow, Thursday morning, carrying on with uh, doing some nice drawings of the silhouette stuff that we did on stream so I can make a little short video about it. Um, gotta go, have a good night, take care. Have a good time. Good luck with the babysitting. That's the one, see, it wasn't kidnapping. Babysitting, I know the words. Um, everybody dance. Do the panic dance. Vital. So silly. Um, good night to all. Good night, everyone. Sleep bless us. Uh, but yeah, Thursday morning doodles, Saturday morning music, Saturday afternoon war tales probably, etc, etc. Um, and back to this next Tuesday. I want to play this more frequently. But my throat doesn't, so... <laughs> I don't know, may maybe I'll recover enough that like when we finish the draw through we can do play this game Tuesdays and Wednesdays? I don't know, I'm just enjoying it, so whatever um but yes have a good time everyone i'll put on something worth dancing to and uh yeah hope you all have a lovely time good night everybody thanks for hanging thanks for chatting it's always a lovely time um yeah see you all soon goodbye everybody bye